Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be doing some makeup. I really have no idea what I'm gonna be doing, but you know, it's okay, that's cool. The spontaneity of it is what makes it really, really cool. I'm gonna start by just good old trusty Dollar Tree hair clip and just put my hair out of the way. Yeah. Step one complete. Anyway, yeah, let's just chat. Let's have a chat get ready with me kind of video. How about that? You in for it? Okay, cool, thanks. Um, If you're new to my channel, welcome, consider subscribing, click on the little notification bell so you get notified all the time of my future uploads. I upload two videos every week. So without further ado, let's just get to it. My earring is doing something weird. I don't know what it's doing. Hold on. What are you doing? Earring. Wait, do you see this? What is happening? All right. I think I took care of it. No, maybe. Okay, better. <laughs> I'm going to start by prepping my eyelid and I'm going to use the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Custard. And I'm going to use my Sephora concealer brush and I'm just going to start prepping my eyelid. So I hope you're all having a great day, whatever time of the day it is for you. I'm having a pretty okay day, not that you asked, but just in case you were curious. <laughs> I'm currently working from home, so it's been nice not having to get ready every morning and having to go drive to work. That's nice. Um, I do miss people interaction, although I am a little bit of an introvert. It won't seem like that, but I mean, there's no one here. It's not like I need to talk to anybody, and I, I kind of like that. I kind of like not talking to people. <laughs> I'm not good at that. Um, I mean, I like I love my husband. He's like my best friend, but that doesn't count. I don't know. Does anybody feel the same way I do? Also, I have like no female friends. I have like one to two like best friends and we rarely talk at all. Like we're all super busy. We live in like different states. So we don't physically see each other often. But um, I know that if anything arise that we would be there for each other. Like no matter what, no questions asked. Doesn't really matter how much time has passed. Do you have those kinds of friends? I hope you do. And now I'm going to hop into the Ace Beauty Scarlet Dusk palette and I'm gonna use this shade right here which is called Sunset Rose and I'm gonna use my Morphe M441 brush and I'm just gonna start outlining my crease area. So going back to the friends subject, I didn't bring it up for nothing. Like there's a reasoning why I'm bringing it up. So my best friend, um, she told me about this podcast. She's like, do you listen to podcasts? And I was like, no. And she's like, what? You need to listen to podcasts. And I was like, okay, so which one do you recommend? And she told me a few and I started to listening to a few of them and I liked it, pretty relevant or whatever. But I don't know if this happens to you or not, but sometimes they have a really high pitched voice and it just, I don't know. It's like, okay, I get it. You're having a conversation, but do you really need to be like super like this all the time? <laughs> like, you know, I think it's a little too much for me if I am in my calm state to like, to absorb all at once. I mean, obviously there's different kinds of podcasts, but that particular one that she told me about was like a little high pitched for my taste. I wanted to ask you, do you listen to podcasts? And if you listen to podcasts, what do you listen to? What do you recommend? What are your favorite? I think I'm going to hop into this podcast train and I'm gonna grab this like orange shade right next to it. It's called crimson and I'm gonna use my Sephora Blending crease brush and I'm just gonna position this legitimately like in this eye socket and just start windshield wiper motions and just start blending that in there and then to soften it up a little bit more and blend those two colors together I'm gonna go back to the sunset rose shade right here with the same M441 brush that I used earlier and just do windshield wiper motions again to merge everything together and bring that shade back up a little bit more so how are you guys holding up with this whole pandemic and working remotely like are you currently working are you out of a job what's going on how are you coping with it like are you okay? Do you want to talk about it? I mean, what do you do to distract yourself from everything that's been going on? Like, I stopped watching the news, honestly, because every day it's like, so many cases here, so many cases there, like, this is happening here, like, this is happening there, and then politics, and it's just like, oh my god, it's like so overwhelming, everything that's happening, like, all at once, like, I don't know about you guys, but I have really bad anxiety, and all of this uncertainty and, like, unknowns are just striking it up badly, like, it's just like, <sighs> 
I don't know. I don't even know how to cope and process with everything that's been going on. Like they are definitely trying times, and no one has ever been through anything like this before. So it's definitely taken a toll on everybody. So I'm just curious as to how do you cope with it? Like how do you manage your stress and your anxiety? What do you do to calm down? Now I'm gonna hop onto this color called Shade right here, which is sort of like a pottery shade. I'm just gonna put this all over my mobile lid. But anyway, going back to the stress in my life, as if everything that's going on is isn't enough. Um, I'm gonna have surgery on Tuesday, um, which will be August 18th. I'm not sure when I'm gonna be posting this video, but yeah. So I'm pretty nervous, definitely very tensed about it. And it's not your average, I dislocated my shoulder kind of surgery, or you know, it's gonna be a laparotomy, perineal inclusion cyst extraction, all of that. So apparently I have a mass of some kind that collects fluid in my lower pelvic area. Maybe it's TMI for some of you, so I'm sorry. I just need to vent and talk to someone other than my husband, even though you guys don't automatically reply back, but maybe you can talk to me back in the comments. <laughs> So they're gonna open me through my stomach. They're gonna do an incision, like pretty big. It's gonna be a high risk complicated surgery due to the nature that um, I was born with gastroschisis. For those of you who don't know, which probably many of you won't, you're basically born with your guts outside of you as a baby when you're forming up um, everything like, but with me, everything but left something out. So that's how I was born. And my whole life I've had complicated issues regarding my intestines and my guts and all that good stuff. Now I'm gonna hop into this shimmer shade called Hibiscus right here and I'm gonna use that same eyeshadow brush that I used for my mobile lid. I'm just gonna put it all over on top of that as a topper. So I'm pretty scared because I have what they called a frozen abdomen which means that I have a bunch of adhesions. Adhesions are just basically scar tissue. It's like a spider web interclined like that of tissue inside of you. So it's gonna be quite complicated to be able to access that area down there. But you know, this doctor, he seems really confident in what he's going to do. So I have confidence in him as well. Now I'm gonna go back in with that blending brush that I used, put it in my socket area and just kind of blend the shimmer shade with everything else so it's not like a really harsh line. I'm gonna leave the eyes like that for right now. For foundation, I'm gonna use the Milani Screen Queen and I've been loving this foundation so much. Literally like your skin but better with a little bit of more coverage, not just like a CC cream kind of coverage. And for a drugstore foundation, I think it's phenomenal. It does have a slight paint scent, sort of like the Wet n Wild one does, but it's not as empowering and as overwhelming as the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I'm using the Luxie Foundation Brush, by the way. For concealer, I'm gonna use the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer. I really like this concealer. It's like six bucks and it's awesome. But anyway, I don't know what your religious beliefs are, if you have any, um, I respect that. But um, if you can pray for me, and if you don't pray, just send your good vibes my way because because I'm shitting my pants. But it's all good, you know? It's all good. What's the worst that can happen? JK. It'll be alright, guys. It'll be alright. It's not my first rodeo. I've had um, multiple surgeries before in that nature or similar to. They haven't gone great, but I'm still here and that's all that matters. In other news, yeah, this is getting a little depressing and I don't want to talk about that. I'm using the same foundation brush just so that the concealer and the foundation sort of um, melt together and I'm starting by just doing tapping motions. Don't bring it up too high to your under eye. The little pop pocket right here, that's how it's going to crease. Stay away from it because you're going to put eyeshadow there later anyway. As same as I don't bring my foundation too much to my hairline just because I'm going to put bronzer there later. So it's kind of pointless in my opinion. But you do you. For setting powder, I'm going to use the Air Spoon Translucent Powder and you can get this legitimately everywhere darling. For contouring slash bronzing, I'm gonna use the Tarte's Pro Glow Palette and I'm just gonna go back and forth in between these two shades, sort of like this moment right here. This is a Luxie 512 Small Contouring Brush and I'm just gonna start right here, like sort of in my hairline and then just do circular motions upward. To top it all off, the hospital where I'm gonna have the surgery at or the procedure, whatever, it's like two hours away from my home. So my husband is gonna have uh, the 
time of his life. But because we have uh, dogs, we are just gonna arrange for boarding them in their vet. That way it's one less thing that we have to worry about, like if he has to spend the night with me or anything. But I told him not to, because in reality, who wants to be in a hospital chair sleeping the night when in reality, there's gonna be a lot of people coming in and out of the room. Just here to take your blood pressure and temperature. And like, and you're like, I'm just trying to sleep, man. <laughs> but you know, it's all good. And I told him, I have my switch. I'll be fine. I love you so much. I really appreciate it. Don't worry about it. Just drop me off and pick me up. But you know, man, he's not having it. He's gonna spend the night. But you know, we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll persuade him to just go home. Now for blush, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Papaya Pop Duo Blush. And this is what it looks like. It's like super pretty. I love it. So what I do is with the same brush that I use for my contour slash bronzing, I basically just dip into both simultaneously and just focus it a little bit above my apples of my cheeks and just keep it up here. I like to put everything like up here because it just gives the illusion of lifting. This has like some shimmer to it so it acts like a highlighter as well which is really nice. And then I put it across my nose and just do like a little W just so it's kind of like sun-kissed and then bring it up a little bit and down here a little bit where like the sun would naturally hit you and this smells so good like oh my gosh i want to eat it like i don't mind scents on makeup but not on skincare i'm gonna go back to the eyes i'm gonna do the under eye right now from the essentials 2 violet boss palette i'm gonna go to this blue sky shade right here this really beautiful blue i was really drawn by it now i'm gonna go to the shade right next to it called aqua which is like a shimmery shade and i'm just going to put this on top of it for the waterline i'm gonna use this blue eyeliner this is a hard candy stroke for the inner corner highlight i'm gonna use this shimmery shade right here it's called aruba and i'm gonna use the lavish pencil brush and i'm just gonna put it in the inner corner of my eye okay for highlighter i'm gonna use the same papaya duo blush and i'm just gonna grab Grab this one right here and I'm gonna use the elf highlighter brush for this and I'm gonna put it right here Ooh, pretty! and then right here and right here and right here basically everywhere just kidding no just like right here in the high points of your face in the little bone right here and like right above your eyebrow and then in the bridge and then in the cupid's bow of course I just want to eat this. It smells so good. I really like this highlighter because it's like a bronzy, goldy kind of vibe. And I am living for it. With the pencil brush, in that same highlighter, I'm going to put this just to highlight that. For mascara, I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Okay, for the lips, I'm going to use a retractable lip liner for NYX in the shade Nectar. And now I'm going to top it off with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. And this is the shade Cheeky, which is like an orangey gloss. And this is the final look, guys. I hope you liked it. Let me know that you liked it by giving it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe and click on the little notification bell while you're down there so you get notified all the time of my future uploads. I upload two videos every week. I hope you're doing well. Hopefully, I will see you again soon. <laughs> and that's all I've got. Bye.